In this video, we're going to explore in JavaScript the number is none uh, method or function in JavaScript. And the reason we're going to use this, and this is probably an item you will hardly use at all. And what is this basically? Well, let me explain. None is a abbreviation or a shortcut for not a number. So if you have a variable you want to compare and you want to check if the, the variable for some reason cannot calculate or or add up or deduct from each other because you can validate none if there's a issue with the number is the variable a number not a number does it have undefined all kind of issues so this is also for debugging purposes most of the time so let's start and explore this but before that if you want to learn about chart.js check out my Udemy course in the description box. In there you have a link directing you to Udemy and you'll find a huge course about Chart.js. All right, so let's start and look here. We have our HTML document here. And in this document, we're going to create a variable or a constant. And our constant for today is the constant of, let's say chicken. We're going to buy chicken today. And what is the price of chicken? Well, it will be $10 for a kilo. All right, so we have this and now we can check or now what we want to do is we want to validate if this is a none or not a number. So none stands for not a number. Basically, it means that this is not a variable or a number, meaning that you cannot calculate or deduct or whatever you want to do with it. So, for example, here we have this here chicken. Then we say number. And we have to make sure this is a capitalized dot is none. So what happened if we do this and we put in here the chicken variable in your order constant? Basically, it's this. If if is none is true, meaning that this is not a number, it means that chicken is not a number. So then it should show it's true. If is none is false, means that chicken is a number, and then why that is the reason why. The result is false because it was looking for not a number. All right, so as you can see here, this is the, exactly the opposite of what you would think of what it is. So let's start here. So how can we do this? We can do here a console.log. And then we will validate that this is a number, so this is false. So let's save this. Refresh here, open up the developer tab. And you can see here we get a false response. Why? Because it is a number. So if we say here nothing, it's absolutely blank. Refresh. You can see, all right, this is not allowed to do, of course, sorry. Let's put a blank in here. The refresh. Then you can see it is false. There is nothing in here at all. So, but what happened if we say here number 10, save, refresh, this is false. And the reason why, because the variable right now is a string. So if we say this is not ten dollars but ten dollars fifty so we have floating digits in here as well save this refresh and now we get false so why do we get false well it is a number so is not a number no that's incorrect because it's a number a number is 10.50 and this is basically how you can use a number that is none to show or to validate if a variable is a number yes or no so if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding this, put them in the comment section below.